basically Blogging Underground is a membership and it has a network of blogs on servers all over the world. And anybody that is either promoting a product or a local business or if, if getting traffic is important, you could use these blogs as if they were your own websites to promote you know, what, what it is that you're uh, putting out there. So I'll, I'll just very quickly get into this and um, I don't want to do a full SEO course but the basic premise is what we're trying to do is that we're trying to get on top of Google, right? There, there's a lot of other ways that we're getting traffic and those are valid ways but um, one of the old standby ways and it doesn't look like it's going to change any time in the near future is that we want to get people to type things into the search box on Google and we want to get them to come to our websites. So th the basic premise is that we want to get a number one top ranking. So I'm not going to go into how to get the top ranking necessarily because that would involve uh, discussing building the sites and you know your whole overall approach. But let's just say that regardless of what kind of site you have and what you're trying to do, it all boils down to keywords and you're targeting keywords and you want to take a keyword that is going to get a substantial amount of traffic and hopefully a keyword that's going to convert into money or actions or a profit in some way and then when you figure out what those keywords are you want to make sure that you're building web pages that on Google are very visible at the top when people search for those keywords. So. Um, in this example, I, I created a site for the training at um, Blogging Underground and basically I took a, a blog from scratch and what I did was I, I went to um, a bunch of keyword research and what we did was we found a keyword phrase and I bought a brand new domain with the exact keyword because part of it is um, targeting exact keywords. I think a lot of people, what they do when they go after top rankings is that they target broad match keywords as opposed to uh, exact match and the thing you have to consider is when you're targeting a keyword you want to target exactly what people are searching for not um, something that may be contained in other longer phrases so in the test case what I was going after was uh, dog allergy treatments we determined that it had a nice volume and it had a, a good uh, average cost per click. So basically I created a blog and um, within a short of, amount of time I was ranking on the second or third page of uh, Google for the phrase and then through using the uh, blog network and blogging underground I pushed it all the way up to number one and it's been number one probably for about four or five months at this point and it seems pretty steady up there so in general that's the basic goal but you know what I've really found is that there are two things that you just have to do right and you could almost do all of the other things wrong and the two things you have to do right are, are pick good uh, keywords and then you gotta create a good page that uh, delivers content for that keyword and then the second thing is you have to get relevant pages to link to the page that you have that content on. So there's a lot of strategies and a lot of ways to do this stuff, but if you could create good pages, just very simply create good content targeting that keyword and serving that keyword well, and then number two, if you can get links on relevant pages that are similar to that content, pointing back to your URL with the exact keyword in the anchor text, you could almost do all of the other things wrong and you're still going to be able to push your way up to the top of Google. So let, let's talk about why some pages are at the top. Obviously there's a lot of people going after the top rankings and only so many of them can end up at the top of Google. And it's usually a combination of things. Now, in the older days, uh, a few years ago, it was a lot more heavily based on page rank. 
But these days, the trend is more and more towards relevance. And usually once I start talking about relevance, it's like, it sounds so simple, but um, a lot of people keep asking, well, relevant what? Well, everything has to be relevant. As much as possible that could be relevant, the better. So if you want to get to number one, you need one, you need to have a page that is relevant to the keyword that people are typing in Google. So that when they, you know, type in here, Google has confidence in you that your website and the web page that they're going to show to people, it actually delivers content related to that. And then in order to get to the top, you need to prove to Google not only that you have good content, but that you're worthy and that other websites think you have good content. And that's the real secret. Other websites have to vote for you and say, hey, this is a really good website for dog allergy treatments. If you're looking for information, click this link and go to find dog allergy treatments. And then the more Google sees all of these things coming together, you know, the good content on your page, that you have uh, good links coming from other websites that have related content, you know, to dog allergy treatments or whatever it is that you're targeting, they're going to have greater confidence in you and they're going to start pushing you up to the top. Now, there, there's some other factors in there, but the, that's the, the general basic premise. You create a good web page and then you go out there and you get links from other web pages pointing to your web page and you try to get all of the factors relevant to the keyword you're targeting. So links and the content and so forth. Okay, so a big part of it is keyword research. And um, now how you go after keyword research really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. One of the things that we found, and I didn't really create this, but it's a big part of the training that we do at Blogging Underground, is that if you have the exact keyword, the exact specific keyword in the domain name, uh, it's much easier to push it to the top. In fact, sometimes even really, really competitive uh, areas that you would, you know, never in a million years think you could push something to the top of Google, just because you have those keywords in the domain name combined with uh, exact links coming from relevant pages, which we just talked about, is enough to push you to the top. In the olden days, I was trying every trick and black hat technique, and I was trying to weasel my way in every single way I could, and no matter what I did, I was always getting busted. You know, I'd make money, I'd get number one for Beyonce, and I'd make 350 bucks, you know, a day for a week, and then boom, it was gone. Because, you know, those techniques were short-lived. They would get you up there. And ironically, in all those times, where my sites were coming and going, I had a few personal websites were based, which were based on real content. You know, I was doing reviews of you know music software or whatever it was, and I was writing real articles. And I started figuring out that you know what, this real content works better in the long run because you don't have to constantly reinvent yourself. The biggest thing that I wanted to do was have a diverse pool of websites that members could go on to and get links and these were real websites you know because I've been doing this for a long time I actually had all these legacy domains that I've owned some for as many as 10 or 15 years and I started building out these sites and I started sharing it with members and then as you noticed it, it was really effective at getting pages indexed and even in getting top rankings and that's why this blogging underground thing in the last um, year and a half, two years, I've really made a dedicated effort to expand uh, the network of blogs so it's a huge you know, pool of diverse IPs. I mean, there are more IPs than you can imagine. And right now we're up to about 390 blogs and growing. And the biggest development is that we created a control panel and um, we allowed members to contribute their blogs. So now the members come in and they contribute their blogs to the network. You connect through a central control panel. And basically, our members put good content on their website. So it gives them an incentive to add blogs to the network. So basically, it's widening the, the depth 
of the IP addresses, which is a really cool thing because it's it's just very natural. When you're going after the top rankings, the thing you have to really keep in mind is that Google is so smart, you can't trick them. I mean, you could trick them for a week or a day, but if you're doing this like we are for long term, you know, uh, as a long term business, you get tired of playing those games. So we started to play more and more by Google's rules, and we have blogs, and we require uh, that the blogs are all aged and that they have, you know, valid websites and good content on them and so forth. So as far as I consider it, I think we're doing everything that Google appreciates and everything that uh, Google likes. Now, they're, they're never going to tell us, oh, go out there and go link on Blogging Underground. I know they're not going to say that. But at least they respect all of the blogs in the network because the blogs get craw crawled in some cases hourly. I mean, you go look and the, you, know, you put something up and within an hour it's indexed on Google. That's just absolutely amazing. So while they probably wouldn't endorse us, they certainly do appreciate the fact that we deliver real valuable content. So what we do is we basically have a set of rules, things that people can't do. They can't put more than two links in a blog post. One link is great. Two links is OK. You really don't need to put 100 links in a blog post you know, to, to win at this game. The idea is to create a post like this one here, a simple little post. If you're targeting ringtones, you go to our ringtones blog, and you put in a valuable little article about ringtones, and you link back to your site with you know whatever your ringtones keyword is. So you don't need to stuff it with you know 10 or 50 or 100 links. So we have rules, and one of the rules is that you can only link up to two times. And then we have some other rules as far as um, you know how often you could post in a certain blog in a day. And I won't get into those you know, very, very deep. But um, the rules aren't that bad. Very few people ever hit them. The only people that complain about them are the ones that are going to want to push a button and do a robot submission and get 1,000 instant links. And that is not what we do. We don't do that. Because if you do that stuff, you're going to get a short-term gain. And it's going to backfire on everybody. And we want to have, you know, we want to be doing this years into the future. We don't want to, you know, be one of those services that just suddenly shut down for no reason. Where the real power of it comes in, and what we were talking about before, is the relevance factor. What's really cool about this is that if you're a member of Blogging Underground, you have a network of 390 blogs and growing, and you could basically go into them and create the ultimate relevant post pointing back to your page. And if people abuse this and they, you know, you go to the um, the pet blog and they're, you know, posting about hemorrhoid cream or whatever it is that people are trying to to sneak in there, say, hey, you know, these guys are, you know, pulling this crap and then we get rid of it. So it's like a self-policing network because the members value this so much, they're constantly, you know, going through the blogs and if they see something, they report it and we quickly take care of it. And once again, I don't want to sound like I'm a policeman, you know, looking to slap people or spank them or whatever. We don't. And it rarely happens. But um, we have to protect the blood network. That's why it works so well. You know, that's really one of the there's reasons, fun. yeah, that we, we do right. this. And there's a few people, and I'm sure there's a few people listening that are probably kind of, you know, hoping they could push the envelope and they want to know, okay, how many can I do? Can I do a thousand in a day? Can I do ten thousand? Can I do this? And that's why I include training in this. And it's really important to realize that that's not what this is about. If you want to do that, there are different other blog networks and there are other linking schemes and farms and methods of getting a lot of links fast. But trust me, in the long run, that stuff will just burn your sites and you're going to lose. Because eventually, when Google, it, it may not happen initially, but as much as we have to do the right things, we have to be really careful that we don't do the wrong things. Because when the wrong things start to combine, you know, all of a sudden, all of the different algorithms and filters trigger at Google and they go, aha. What I hope um, you guys are doing is you're just, you're building really good websites 
and you're using our blogs to link to really good websites. And as long as you do that and you provide value, Google will be, you know, just fine with that. That's what they want. And if you link them in, in the blog network on a couple of blogs, there's a good chance the same day or the next day, or definitely within a few days, your pages will physically be in the index. The, the whole point about the blogging network, and I'm not going to beat it over, over the head too much more, but the relevance thing with relevance, you only need a couple of pages with links to you, and it's probably going to be enough to get a top ranking. A lot less links than, you know, if you, uh, if you have to go and get a, a ton of those other kind of links. So um, there probably is not a keyword out there with the exception of the, um, um, the swear words or the, the sex words or the, the banned words that are not allowed. But almost every topic, um, you could find a blog because we also have what's called um, all topics blogs. And these are basically blogs like Tips Answers where they'll have, you know, 20 or 50 or 100 different categories. So there will always be a category that's there that will fit your keyword that you're targeting. So if you're targeting what you think is a, a super niche, unusual, difficult keyword, just broaden your your possibilities a little bit because you can go to a blog and find a category that's close enough and then you simply write a really valuable targeted post for your keyword and you surround it within the post with your keywords and you make sure that the post title has your keyword in it. So you could almost make any blog. Now, um, real quick, uh, one of the problems that I have with people is that they do occasionally post off topic uh, posts on a blog and you know once they figure out what's going on they'll, they'll usually understand not to do that or having a link come from a forum that's about nothing even closely resembling your topic um, one link on a page that has those relevant factors is really worth a lot in fact I'd probably say it, it's probably worth more than a high page rank link to have a good relevant link so it's worth the extra effort. <laughs>